Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to compare the columns, the values of both in columns in Excel sheet. I want to compare two or three columns in Excel sheet. If the values are same, I want to get the result as. If the values are not same, I want to display false. So let's start the tutorial. And notice here we got uh, the colors where the values are matching our conditional formatting is working. If the values are not same, 11, see, the four color and font color has been removed. And here we got the final output when we compare three columns. Wherever we got no, the values are not same. Wherever we got S, the values are same. Suppose if I have changed your 10 here, if the values are not same, see here, we got no here. If the values are same, we got S here. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Notice on the Excel sheet in cell A and B, I got some values here. Just for the time saving, I have added some random numbers. But when you notice in A cell and B cell, some columns, uh, some cells are same in A and B. Now my aim is I want to compare these A and B columns. If the values both are same in A and B, I want to display true. The message I want to display in C column true. If the values are not same, the value values are not same, I want to display the result false. So here the formula is, I first select the C1 cell is equals to if condition, if the if condition takes three parameters, the first parameter takes a logical test. The logical test is, I want to compare A1 is equals to B1. After that, comma, Notice the second parameter value is true. If the value is true, I'm adding true. I want to display the message true here. If you want, you can put S or match, whatever you want, you can add here. And if the values are not matching, let's add false here. That's it. Enter. And notice here in C1 cell, we got false here because in A and B, when we are compared, the values in C1, uh, uh, A1 and B1, the values are not same. Because, that's why we got false here. Now, select the C1, take the cursor to the corner of this cell. When the cursor changes to plus symbol, drag up to C10. Now, we got all the results. Wherever we got true here, uh, let's put this in the bold. In the middle now wherever we got true here the values are matching wherever the false the values are not matching for example here 2 and 1 is false so I'm adding here 2 here so it becomes true here if you add 0 it falls now my next condition is I want to uh, implement the conditional formatting if the values are same in a and b i want to add four and background color if the values are not same and i want to leave it like that only if the values are same i want to add some format colors four and background color so for that first let's select a and b the range you have selected cells then in the home tab there is a styles inside the styles there is a conditional formatting let's open that one in the conditional formatting go to new rule i'm adding the new rule the rule type i'm selecting from this out uh, from these six conditions uh, six types i'm selecting the last one use a formula to determine which cells to format now let's add the formula here is equals to uh, dollar 
a1 it's very simple dollar a1 is equals to dollar b1 when we add dollar here it selects all the cells but here i have already selected the range that's it this is very simple now let's add the uh, format for and background color the fill color uh, i'm adding yellow and font color i'm adding gold and red click ok this is the output uh, we will get when the values are same in a and b that's it let press ok and notice here we got uh, the colors where the values are matching our conditional formatting is working if the values are not same 11 see the four color and font color has been removed let's add here 11 now now i want to add the conditional formatting if the values are not same i want to add the four and background color if the values are not same i want to add the four color and background color so again select the range go to conditional formatting manage rules because i have added already a, the formula here now not equals to less than and greater than which is a not equals to now dollar b1 that's it if a1 is not equals to b1 i want to get this output this format click ok apply ok notice wherever we got false here we have applied the font and four color formatting if the values are same the format has been removed now my next condition is what about when we have three columns to compare so let's add that one also 12 uh, 10 9 let's add some random numbers 0 here 0 0 1 1 1 12 12 9 5 4 3 2 2 2 now just for the example i have taken some random numbers in column f to h now i want to display here if the values are matching or not these three columns i want to compare these three columns if the values are matching i want to display s if the values are not matching i want to display no or match or not match so here i'm selecting the i3 cell is equals to if condition if now in the logical test I am adding n condition. The n condition because we are using three columns. We are comparing three columns. That's why I have added n formula here. The n formula takes the logicals. I am selecting f3 is equals to g3 comma. Now g3 is equals to h3. After that now we got f condition here because n condition i have closed it here comma if the values are same and i want to display s s if the values are not same display no that's it enter and notice here we got no here in i3 cell now take the cursor in i3 cell whenever the cursor changes to plus symbol just drag up to wherever you want that's it now notice we got wherever we got s here the values are same wherever we got no the values are not same here i'm adding if i add 12 here we got s here let's change to 112 values are not same we got no here that's it in this video tutorial i have explained 
how to compare two or three columns and also how to add the conditional formatting of the two columns that's it thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial